Hi gang, Scott here. In this video, we'll look at the landscape tool in Luminar AI. As its name suggests, it has several controls that are quite useful for fine tuning and crafting your landscape photos. If you like videos like this, hit the subscribe button. And if you're thinking about adding Luminar AI to your toolkit, check the show notes. There's an offer code down there. It can save you a little bit of money. Let's have a look at this landscape tool. Let's start our exploration of the landscape tool with this photo here. We open up the tool. We have three controls, dehaze, golden hour, and foliage enhancer. And this photo is a great one for dehaze. The ocean is throwing up a lot of spray. It's clouding things. It's just, you know, there's this shroud of mist over the photo. Now, some of that is good. You know, I, like, I like the fact that there is some atmosphere here. But with dehaze, we can cut it down some. Let me push it all the way to the right. So you can see you know, this, um, I, I would not leave it here, but it does cut all of this haze in the foreground, midground, and even to a, to a degree in the background, but doing so in a, in a pretty natural way, right? There's, there's, there's more than just, uh, let, me, let me just go cut, uh, cut middle gray and get rid of it. Uh, but one thing to be aware of with dehaze, if you do push it all the way to the right, with certain photos, you can introduce like a discoloration and uh, some things get to be like a bluish or purplish tint. And honestly, the slider even hints at that. It goes from this blue to purplish coloration. And depending on the photo, this one's pretty forgiving because there's haze through the whole thing. But depending on the photo, you push this too far, you can get some very awkward discolorations. So keep that in check. And I'll leave the haze maybe on this photo right about here. Now you might be thinking about the masking tools and selectively applying dehaze to just areas that need to have it toned back a little bit. You can absolutely do that, but keep in mind that the mask will be for the landscape tool as a whole. So if your photo also needs some boost from golden hour and foliage enhancer, we'll go through those sliders in just a minute with another photo. But if your photo needs a boost from all three, well, the mask is going to affect all three. So keep that in mind as you're thinking about masking. You you don't have masking for just, in this example, dehaze. It will affect all of the different sliders within the landscape tool. Now let's have a look at the other two. Let's use this photo here to go through the other controls, golden hour and foliage enhancer. Golden hour, as its name suggests, gives a, a nice inviting warmth. I'll push it really far and this will get, this will get too strong for a scene. It's like kind of adding sunlight into a photo. So, you know, maybe around there feels pretty good before, after, nice pop on, uh, the yellows are certainly uh, bright on those, uh, those leaves there. Maybe I'll dial that back ever so slightly. And now foliage enhancer. The foliage enhancer will target the greens of a photo. And so uh, it can be trees, it could be moss, it could be anything that has that green cast. In this photo, we have some moss in the midground, but these trees up in the background is where we'll see it the most. I'm gonna push it all the way to the right. I mean, you can see what's being affected. You'll see the moss on the rocks here, here. There's actually some here I didn't notice immediately. That's getting popped. All these little uh, sprigs of green in the rocks are there. All of that stuff is getting found and pushed by the foliage enhancer. I'm gonna leave that all the way up to the top because in the advanced settings, we have one other control, foliage hue. This is useful if you need to shift the hue of the foliage and you don't have to spend time tinkering around in say the color advanced area for HSL. Let's watch the trees up in the background here as I push you know, foliage to the left and I'm making it more of a yellowish tone, which is a little more in line with the rest of the scene. You know, Now I can back off the enhancer and you know, kind of dial that back in. So I'm giving those trees a bit of a pop, but not to the stage of overpowering the foreground and the nice fall color leaves there. So foliage hue is an interesting uh, extra that's in the landscape tool that'll help you shift those greens around just a little bit and uh, for other fall color photos maybe you know, like a, just a classic look at a forest there it can really be handy to give much more of an autumn feel as opposed to just an overpowering you know, nuclear green kind of feel so it has its uses and uh, don't overlook it if you've got photos that fit the bill for it hope you enjoyed the video you got questions go ahead and drop them below and until next time my name is scott davenport have fun